Wait, there was huge drama about Robin over the last few days. What? Oh my god. What's the drama? Man, I'm so checked out of drama. I don't know about it. Not really a big drama, just that the Reddit mods had to update rules regarding people forcing sexualities on characters and bullying others who didn't share the same opinion. What the f Um, look, it's okay for people to simp, I think, but whenever it comes to people uh, bully bullying others for simping, like, why? Weird. Weird. Like, it's, it's, it's Star Rail. People are going to be horny on main. Here's the TLDR. Okay. People assigned her a sexual preference. Tagged on and made a tweet. Baiting that part of the fandom and it blew up. Into this huge back and forth between people with opposing views. But, like, I thought when it comes to... Okay. I thought that when it comes to sexualizing a character, whatever you imagine for the character is what you are imagining in your own head. Right? So... Someone else can imagine the character as being any sexual preference or none. And then you can imagine the same character in a different way because you're safe inside your own head. Is that not the case? Or... <laughs> like, why do we all have to agree on stuff that isn't real and that is in our head? It's, it's why it's called a head canon because it's in your own mind. Like, it's weird that you want other people to agree on that that's that's strange like the only scenario in which i feel like someone would need to agree with you on how you've chosen to sexualize a character is if they are the person like literally in costume for you uh to help you like realize that fantasy in a real life setting <laughs> Like, who else needs to know about that? Definitely not Twitter. You know, like, you guys, <laughs> it's just, it's strange. It's, the issue is that some people will only want their head cannons to be accepted. I find that bizarre. I find that extremely bizarre. Yeah, that's so, it's really just dumb. <laughs> Are you saying I can get someone to be Sunday in Sampo? I mean, maybe. If you're lucky. Yeah, let people be. That's how I feel about it. They're, like, in the, in the scheme of things, that is not what I would consider to be, uh, like, something I would ever worry about. Is how someone else thought about a character. Like, I really, that's... That is so much not a problem for, like, I just don't, it doesn't matter. Yes, you're correct. The, but there are people who disagree with your rational way of thinking and are bullying people into accepting their head as fact. <sighs> and they're acting like they want it to be intention. The thing is that, like, it, it doesn't... I don't know, this is pointless and, and dumb. I, I know there's people like this, and I just won't understand them. Because, like, what do you gain from that? Like, is, does, is it, like, making it one step closer to your relationship with the fictional character being real? If you can get them... If you can get Hoyaverse to be like, yes, uh, hey everybody, so Sunday is canonically in love with Zeppla, the person. So nobody else... <laughs> nobody else can simp. Only Zeppla can. And if anyone else does, we'll ban you. <laughs> I might have to fight you. <laughs> See, I don't want to fight all the other simps. Like, do you realize, like, I would not win. <laughs> I would not win this battle. I would rather share. Okay, we're here to share the... <laughs> this is getting stupider the more I talk about it. Ah, uh, God. 
That's how you know it's not a real problem. If the more you try to talk about it and understand it, it the stupider you sound. It's pretty easy. Uh. <laughs> I don't know that. I'd bet on you. Your simp is pretty strong. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But thankfully, we don't have to fight because they're not real. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the concerning is, though, that a lot of people take these characters as if real and make real problems and even threats around it. That is so scary. To me, like, w w the most one of the most fun things about any game, but especially character-focused games like Star Rail and Genshin, is like communicating with and having camaraderie with other people that love the characters for all kinds of different reasons. Like, why would you want to... Why would you want to fight with people that share your interests? Your, like, incredibly niche interests in these little characters? That's so crazy. I'm, like, so hyped when people are like, they like Sunday also. Or, like, you know, whatever. That's just one example. You know, they like a character that I like. That's awesome. I don't care why. We like character. It's cool that we can like something. <laughs> maybe it's just that I'm old, right? Like, maybe that's why I'm chill about it. <laughs> maybe it's just... I don't know. I got old. <laughs> Yeah, but that's my husband, though. Simping camaraderie. If there was actually only one copy of these characters to go around, I would fight you. I really would fight. All right. <laughs> it's not like that, thankfully. <laughs> 